1435 South Car in Sedalia. Nice area. Nice homes in the area. Right on the corner. Nice big two story. Right on the corner of South Car and 16th. About four blocks that away, which is E uh, West, I'm sorry. It's McDonald's, pretty good size uh, shopping center area also. 16th is a, one of the major streets. Real nice setting for us here on the front. <laughs> Looks like it has final siding. There's a central air unit. It's uh, old, older than brand new for sure, but uh, probably works. Nice shutters. Sidewalk kind of up and down, but not in too bad a shape. Steps could use some carpet or something. Hard to lose floors or plank floors. Looks like if they would replace something in there. Here's the setting board. You got plenty of room on either side. And a wide area there for setting a drink or something. It'd be nice to sit there and watch the traffic go by. Comes right into a real open area. Got a nice looking ceiling. Ceiling fan here, as you see. A big, good sized living room goes all the way across the house. And then they have that wall opened up real nice into the dining area there. The kitchen, you can see that's a refrigerator sticking out right there. Black. And then this is, goes all the way over. And you got big double doors here, the French doors. Getting into a bedroom. Right there. There's a window over there, which they have a covering on. And this is a, another bedroom here, or setting room, or work room, or something. Anyway, room. It's rather small, but there's right outside of it. There's a nice long, deep closet. Shelves up above, poles. And if you close that door, then there's a hallway here. It leads to that other bedroom area. And uh, this is the bathroom on the right here. This is that room with the French doors. This is the bathroom. Looks like it has a nice sink and area. Laminate flooring, I'd say. Tub surround. It appears to be a ceramic tile or ceramic tile looking stuff one or the other close rack Tell that. behind this door there's a kind of a neat storage cabinet built into the wall And there is an attic fan here. We go, we love those. In the cusp of the year, summer, spring, or fall. You don't really need heat or air conditioning, but you'd like to have some air. Those are really nice. That's the controls for it right there. Okay, we're just going to go on around the circle here. And there's a doorway here on your right. And that is the... Uh, goes to a basement, the basement area. We'll go down there in a bit. And you have the utility area here. Nice big area. Watch the dryer set in here. And you have the coat racks there. And then on the back you've got a really nice closed-in porch. Not closed-in porch, I'm sorry, covered porch. Yeah. That's a nice setting. You can see Elden over there, the kids over there, and that's the garage. Okay. 
and that has a fenced yard here. That's very nice, especially if you have any puppies. The kitchen is uh, not large, but it's ample. And got some cabinets here. Two people. I think it'll be just fine. And then again, we have a, a built-in storage here, which we like. I did this in one of our houses that we had. Right up the, so I guess it was the second house we owned. But mine wasn't as deep. This is, this is probably uh, 18 inches, 15 inches deep. Real nice. I'm gonna go down to the basement. The steps to the basement are covered with carpet. One thing I'll warn you is, see this floor joist right there? You want to be uh, aware that that kind of sticks down a little bit. Al didn't whack his head on it pretty good. Anyway, looks like they've done some new plumbing area there. Washer and dryer hook up right over here. There's 220 for a dryer on the right there on the right. Washer hookup, dryer vent that goes on over there to the dryer. Appears to be a sump pump right there, which is a good thing. Keeps, keeps the water out from under the slab before it comes up into it. And you have the furnace down here and the water heater, and there they set. Quite a bit of room down here, just open room. Very nice. This is a card from Sun Equity, and uh, they do uh, uh, pest control and stuff, so they're using them. They're real good. I've used them before. Several plug-ins around, which is really nice. One there. Another one down here on this wall. Two of them down there at the corner there. And it has a kind of a built-in area here, closed-in area. Several lights around. Anyway, shelving in there if you do any canning or anything, or just for storage. Never too much storage. That's pretty much the basement. So we'll go out and take a little look at the garage, and then that'll be it show you a breaker box here. Looks like it's pretty well labeled, which is a good thing. So here's the inside of the garage. Looks like they've got a gun safe over there. And it has a garage door opener. And the garage door seems to work pretty well. So far so good. And then it opens right out onto uh, 16th Street, but you've got quite a little ways there. So, pretty good visibility anyway. And there's, uh, there's Eldon. And the youngins. Big house, big tree here. I think I cut some of those limbs off that kind of over the garage. But it looks, looks like it's pretty still alive and everything. Okay, that's kind of it. Pretty nice place, actually, for the money.